This is Trisha Judge, and this is Judge's Ruling. Last week, Canon announced a new lawsuit against Nine Star and its Hong Kong and New Jersey based affiliates. It did so on September 17th with announcements from its newsroom and the usual fanfare. In its complaint, Canon claims Nine Star sells toner cartridges that infringe Canon's patents for use in various models of Canon and HP laser beam printers. These include printers which accept Canon to Canon toner cartridge models 729 and HP toner cartridge models 126A and 130A. The case affects a very few cartridge models that are for printers with a very small installed base. These cartridges are just not a big seller in the US. Perhaps the, the case was merely a smokescreen to keep the press away from the much more interesting events of the day. That same day was also the deadline for Canon to appeal its April loss to the aftermarket in a more important case headed to the US Supreme Court. It declined to file that appeal. That case involved 26 remaining aftermarket defendants, including Nine Star, Static Control, Aster, Printright, and LD Products, to name just a few. The litigation also affected a wide range of cartridges Canon filed that case in February 2018 in both U.S. district courts and before the United States International Trade Commission. The defendants in that case fought back, claiming that Canon was overreaching and attempting to invoke patent claim coverage inappropriately. Legal experts found it humorous that Canon attempted to argue that its patent coverage of angles in its design included zero degree angles or a straight line. Angle, straight line. That's a tough argument to make. In April, the US Federal Circuit Court decided unanimously against Canon and for aftermarket design around solutions when it ruled they did not infringe Canon's patents. Since the September 17th announcement of this new case, it filed voluntary dismissals quietly in the various district courts where the earlier cases are still pending for the remaining defendants. It also is not pursuing its appeal to the US Supreme Court. No fanfare heralded these moves by Canon, all done very quietly and under the shroud of this new case that it has just filed. There is something else curious about the new filing. It did not file this case simultaneously with the United States International Trade Commission, as has been its pattern in the past, at least not yet. Does this signal a kinder, gentler canon? Doubtful. It has a huge portfolio of patents and has shown it intends to protect it. Still, this is a victory for the new built cartridge players. Canon pushed its patent rights too far, and these aftermarket players fought back hard. Kudos to them for keeping the super OEM in check.